Hello there, and welcome to the first in a series of videos produced by the State Archives of North Carolina for the commemoration of America 250th. In 2026, the United States of America will be commemorating its semi-quincentennial, 250 years since the signing of the Declaration of Independence and the formation of the great democratic experiment known as the USA. In the coming years, there will be many commemorations from national, state, and local entities. And as part of the Department of Natural and Cultural Resources commemoration, the State Archives of North Carolina will be producing programming related to America 250th over the next few years. The purpose of these productions is to use materials from a wide variety of people and places in North Carolina to remember and reflect upon the last 250 years, who we are, where we are, and how we've gotten to where we are today. In short, your story. You'll see various types of programming, including social media posts, roundtable discussions, exhibits, blog posts, and videos. We'll showcase not only records and collections from the Revolutionary War, but also explore how North Carolinians' records reflect the ideals and struggles of this democratic experiment we call home. In this video series, produced for the commemoration of America 250th, we want to introduce you to the department's America 250th themes, showcase some particularly interesting records, and provide some short tutorials on both online and on-site resources so that you can explore North Carolina's records for yourself. In this video today, we'll begin by looking at materials in the state archives related to one of the broadest concepts that the Department of Natural and Cultural Resources is using as a lens through which to reflect upon the last 250 years. When are we us? That is, when did we become the United States? When do we become us rather than you and them? That theme is woven throughout our history and into our future, through the tales of women, American Indians, enslaved people and their descendants, persons with disabilities, and the LGBTQ community. We will encounter suffrage, immigration, and striving for freedom and equity in all areas of life as we follow examples of threads which, woven together, work to answer this seemingly elusive question. Let's begin. The revolutionary spirit which pervaded North Carolina in 1776 persists to this day. Debate, protests, and political struggles have left their mark in North Carolina and demonstrate that we are us when we utilize our voices. State agency records not only record the workings of the government from within, but preserve citizen voices of praise and protest as well. Petitions submitted to the General Assembly in the earliest years of statehood showcase community efforts on issues ranging from county development to manumission, while Governor's Papers correspondence highlight the communication of individuals, such as those contributing their voices to the intense fight over free speech on college campuses that arose out of the 1963 speaker ban law. These are just a few examples of how records found in the state archives reflect the democratic experiment in action. From the start of the colonies that would later become the United States, the experience of women has been full of both opportunity and adversity. The records at the State Archives of North Carolina tell the complicated story of women's history. State records reveal women's power in early land ownership and exercising their right to petition the General Assembly on topics ranging from divorce to the treatment of enslaved people. Rich, donated collections tell the story of the long battle for women's suffrage through the work of Gertrude Wheel and the stories of trailblazers like Lillian Exum Clement Stafford, North Carolina's first female legislator, and June K. Campbell, who, with courage, confidence, and dignity, escorted her son, Bill, on his first day to school at the formerly all-white Murphy Elementary School, paving the way for the integration of the Raleigh public school system. For others, we are us when we make sure that the next generation will have the tools necessary to succeed. You can find many records documenting the public education efforts taking place across the state every day. The earliest records relating to specific schools are common school reports from the mid-19th century. 
Later records document African American education in the era of Jim Crow, as well as the earliest years of the Department of Public Instruction. One of the highlights of our education records are lists of most high school graduates starting in the 1920s through 2004. We continued to collect graduation lists. So if you've graduated from a public high school in North Carolina, like basketball icon Michael Jordan, YouTube legends Rhett and Link, or rapper J. Cole, your name and your story either is or will soon be a part of the state archives. The question of when are we us is something that can be explored but not fully answered as the American political and social experiment continues and others from across the world immigrate to join in. During the 19th and 20th centuries, naturalization and so-called alien registration occurred at the state and county level, resulting in stories of immigrants from across the world being recorded in records at the state archives. We'll explore these more in the future, but for now, they are fully free to view in our online digital collections. These have been just a few examples of ways that records at the State Archives in North Carolina can speak to the question of when are we us. In the future, we'll look at these in more depth, as well as other areas including minority leadership, civil rights, and religious freedoms. Our next video will be a deep dive into the different types of records preserving the actions of individuals during the Revolutionary War. In the meantime, be sure to check out the videos already available on our YouTube channel or start diving into records in our digital collections. As you explore, let us know if you have any questions or if you identify areas in which our collections need more of your story. After all, your story is North Carolina's story and North Carolina's story contributes to the story of our nation as a whole. We look forward to commemorating the 250th anniversary of the United States of America with you.